Save the rod and reel though. Save the rod and reel. Alright, let's get back up. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That was crazy. Alrighty. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning guys. Ooh. Where's the where's the angle? Oh, right here. <laughs> good morning. Oh look at that hair. Yeah. I do things that I don't like when I go out fishing. And usually I don't go out when these two things are happening or are present. First is windy, which is right now. <laughs> Second is bottom peak low tide, which is we are at the bottom peak low tide. It is negative 1.1 right now. Why I don't go during those times is because I don't catch fish. <laughs> Problem during peak low or negative low tide, it's just hard to find a spot to fish. The water is flat, it's basically flat. You need a deeper water to find uh, those fish. What we're gonna do, we're gonna be walking around or we're gonna scan the place, the beach, to find a better spot to fish. Let's go, let's find them, and hopefully we catch a big one today. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I want it to be like this, way up. We'll try here guys, we'll try here. I'm here to help you. Help me please. Out of breath I'm running, the bridge is burning. This is actually a good spot right here, guys. Life don't seem like it used to. Love that guy caught us like now. Oh, that's a good sign. I guarantee you, we will catch a fish. Alright guys, this is what I'm saying when uh, it's a negative tide. See, uh, notice right here. I'll show it to you. Usually the water goes all the way up right here. And look how far the water is. It's all the way back there. There's a lot of exposed sand and there's not a lot of deep water. And usually the water is shallow. You see that? That breaks right there. You see the breaks? That's where the fish are be uh, behind that. And this right here, this is shallow. This is, there's nothing here. There's no fish right there. You have to go far out to cast your lure and go behind those breaks. So that's why I don't like bottom peak low tide. So the good thing about low tide is the sand is exposed. You can see, you can scan the place where the holes are. So when during the high tide, then you can come back and fish that spot. We'll, we'll try here guys, we'll try here. Yeah. Hopefully there's fish, there's fish here. Alrighty. Alright, let's go. Nothing. I don't like this spot. Let's go find another one. Yeah, let's go. I noticed that my Mickey jig, the hook is pointing down like that. So I'm gonna switch it up. I want it to be like this, way up. So when you cast this, when this lure hits the bottom, and this hook will catch the sand, and then you are gonna get stuck. Like that, it will dig in. And if you come across with a rocks or a weed, you were just gonna get stuck there and you lose your lure. So what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna switch it upside down like that. So it has to be like that. All right, let me put this in, bang, bang. There you go, like that. So when it's in the sand, it will not drag it. Okay guys, let me, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna explain to you this structure right here. This is where the water stops during high tide peak. So this is where you are casting. And there's a sudden slope or sudden, this one, it goes down right away. You see that? 
you see this so the break there's a break over here so over there look how far that is this is flat right here flat 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 and and can you see can you still see me and uh, over here there look at this and there is another sand bar right here this is the sand bar right here where this water stops at this is where the break starts this is where the break starts where you can see all the way far there where the brakes there's a sand bar there too like this so this is a hole right here so this is where you want to land your lure right here this hole right here on a high tide that's how the structures goes so i hope you guys understand that uh. so i hope that explains i explained that the way i wanted you guys to understand it that so this is a good spot to fish on a high tide oh no is this bird injured oh no oh no I think, yeah, his feather is wet right now. That's why I think he can't fly. Uh, let me try. Oh no. You okay? I'm here to help you. I'm gonna put you in the dry land. I don't know what to do. All right, I'm gonna grab him. Hopefully he doesn't have any disease or something like that. Let me just, what the heck? All right, I'm going to put you over there where there's a dry land. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you... Okay, I'll take care of you. Okay, I got you. Ah! Ow! That's my finger. I don't have a towel to dry you up, man. But... I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for those who's watching right now I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here but I'm just trying to help this bird to get back on his feet right here oh. all right just stay there all right just stay there yeah just relax man just relax sure all right gonna have to leave you here now get well let's get back to looking or a fishable spot oh you know what this spot right here look at this this is a good spot right here we'll try this one see this 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 sand right here it's high enough for me to go all the way oh shoot what the heck oh it's high enough to get me all the way up here where what the heck where i can cast oh shoot oh shoot i know it's gonna get shallower right here oh okay right here Woo. wow right here guys yes this is actually a good spot right here guys see the sand the the brakes right here the break is just right here guys this is it this is what we're looking for guys yeah let's cast it over here let's go fishy it's a good spot right here we're gonna catch fish here we're gonna catch fish here big fish let's go big fish I know you're there. I know you're there. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a good cast. Oh, that's a perfect spot to land that lure. Let's go, fishy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I can feel it, guys. I can feel it. 
I can feel I'm gonna hook up here, guys. Let's go. Uh, oh my god. Wow. We walk. We walk for about a mile and a half, and uh, try to scan the whole beach and trying to find a hole. But unfortunately, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't hook up. We didn't get any bites at all or any like bump to my lure. But yeah. We're gonna head back where we started at and uh, we're gonna fish all the spot that we stopped before. So now the tide is already coming up and it's already past two hours. There should be more water now through those holes that we fish on. So we're gonna head back where we started and fish those holes that we fished earlier. Yeah? All right, so let's go and hopefully Hopefully, we can hook up a big one, yeah? Let's go, let's go! And this is the bird that I found earlier. Let's check him out. How are we doing, buddy? Oh, still wet? All right. It seems like he, he's doing great, yeah? Yeah, he's gonna dry up soon, and he'll be back. All right, we're here, guys. This is going to be our last stop and we are done for today. Wow, what a grind. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. This is where we started out earlier. This is the first hole that we fished. And uh, if you don't catch anything here, that's it guys. We are done for today. I got probably 30 more minutes to fish. That guy caught a smelt. Oh, that's a good sign. Saying. Oh, I got cut. I got a deep cut right there. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh, no. My my drag is too loose. Oh, shoot. I'll call it a day. That's it. <sighs> Woo. Wow. That was a grind. Oh, my gosh. I got a deep cut right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that was on my last cast. I knew it. I'm too lazy to wrap my fingers. So, lesson learned there, guys. Lesson learned. Wow, that was like four hours of fishing. <sighs> nothing, nothing. Well, that's that's how it is. That's how fishing is. So, you get skunk, but you get back. Yeah, the good thing here today, what we learned today is we kind of scout the whole area of the beach. Like for about an, a mile and a half, I walked for about a mile and a half and scanned the area and uh, I found the spots where it's a good spot for to fish during high tide. So tomorrow, I'm gonna come back here tomorrow, but not in the morning. I'm gonna come back here on a high tide on uh, probably one hour or two hours before the peak high tide. And I guarantee you tomorrow, I guarantee you, we will catch a fish. We'll come back tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Bye. Ah, big wave. Gotta have to get... Ah, oh my God, it's kind of hot though. Which one do you want me to try? This one or this? Oh, showing. Yes. Oh, finally. Oh my gosh! Look at that. That is huge, guys. Big. Alright guys, we are back. We are back on the same spot, same place that we were at yesterday. The only difference is less wind right now. And also the big factor is the tide. We are now on the peak high tide actually it's 30 minutes before it hits the peak high tide it's it will hit at 4 o'clock p.m. and it's now 3 30 what we're gonna do today we're gonna go fish to those spots that we found yesterday we're gonna be using the same lure I'm gonna be using this Mickey jig right here this is one and a half ounce and also I got this one right here is one ounce bucktail jig and it has it rattles 
right there. I put up a um, plastic trailer right there just to get those fish attracted to this lure. Let's go there and hopefully we can catch a big one. Yeah, let's go. Oh my God, it's kind of hot though. I think my outfit is not meant for this weather right now. I'm sweating inside. This is the, the first spot that we went into yesterday. Now this time, hopefully those fish are hanging around this deep hole right here. Let's see this, first cast. I like it, I like it, I like it guys. I had a feeling we're gonna catch one today. Ooh, first catch. <laughs> first catch, small sea crabs. <laughs> There's a lot of dog. That concerns me because they might pee on my bag. Yeah. And this these dogs are not on leash. Alright. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna switch up to Bucktail Jig. This one. Shoot. Yep, it's incoming tide guys. We're probably on the peak high tide right now. That's why this this waves right here are getting nuts. Ah, big wave. Gotta have to get ah, shoot. Gotta to move out. This is not, not oh shoot. It's not good guys. We gotta have to move out. Look at this. I'm not even uh, it's not even past my knee. It's just that those sneakers waves are dangerous. Oh yeah, we gotta have to move out. Let's move over there. That side I think it's less big waves. Look at this. This is big waves here. We're gonna move over there to my left side. Ah, let's go. Yep, just right here. Alright, let's go. This one's more calm. I like this spot right here. Pump pump. Pump, pump, relax. Pump, pump. Pump, pump, lose. Alright, let's switch it to Mickey Jig. Switch back to Mickey Jig. I thought I'm not getting the the distance I want for this lure. So we're gonna switch it up. Yeah. Come on. There. Let's go. At least on this one we can get it far. Oh yeah. Perfect. Let's go fishy. It's probably like 30 minutes of fishing on this spot. So we're gonna move out to the next spot that we think it can hold the fish. All right, right here guys. This is, this is the spot, uh, the second spot that uh, we saw yesterday that has a deep hole. I like this, looks promising. Let's go. This is a nice spot. Very nice. Love it. Uh, all right, nothing on this lower. Okay, let's switch. Let's try this. I'm gonna let it sink down the bottom. Maybe the fish is on the bottom. Let's see. Nothing, nothing. Oh my gosh. Man. Whew. Still. Nothing. We got about only an hour though. Right, we're, we're gonna switch up. We're gonna switch up to popper or top water lure. I haven't really caught my first fish on a top water lure. So hopefully today, I don't know. Cause if I can't catch a fish on a bucktail or anything, I don't know if I'm gonna catch a fish on the top water lure. Which one do you want me to try? This one or this one? I don't know. Never caught on both. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one. Let's go. See the top surface is a little flat. It's not too too much of a white water or splashes. So I guess this is a good time for us to try the popper. Oh look at that. Pop 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 pop. Ah, uh, I suck at this. I don't even know how to work <laughs> this lure <laughs> kind of don't like uh, I don't know 
I don't feel it. I don't feel the top water lure. So let's get back to this one. Man, all right, let's do it. This spot right here, this, this one looks good. Finally, oh my gosh, ah, yeah, there you go, yes, ah, wow, I thought I'm not going to catch one today, oh my gosh, thank you Lord, yeah, all right, oh, yeah, this is a good one too. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ah, yep, this is a good one, too. Oh, look at that. Woo, let's go. Our recording, yes. Let's go. Yep, finally. All right. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. This is a good one, guys. This is a good one. Wow. Oh, I'm just hoping not to break off. I don't want to lose this fish. It's a good one. It's still pulling me. Let's go. On a bucktail jig, guys. Hey! 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 hey. hey. This is big. This is big, guys. This is big. Okay. I'm gonna tire him a little bit. I got a 20 pound braided line here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my camera right there is too far. Oh, yes. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, he's right there. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Come on. He's right there. Look at that. Ah, I can see him. Oh, he's running again. What the heck? Okay. Woo. This is a good one too. Good size. Oh, good. Oh, big one too. Oh my gosh. This is huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That is huge. Oh my gosh. That's big. Okay. I'm gonna have to release this guy. Look at that. That is huge, guys. That's big. All right, guys. Bye, right, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yes, Whew. oh, oh my god, I'm so happy right now, I'm so happy right now, oh my gosh, oh god, oh, I caught that with this, I caught that with this buck tail, oh shoot, he took, he bit the tail off, oh my god, I'm so happy right now guys, oh man, man, I thought I'm not gonna be able to catch one today, I've been fishing for about an hour and a half now, non-stop. We're gonna get back there, the same spot. Let me cast this again. <laughs> Let's go. Let's catch more. There's probably more fish there I and mean, bigger. Let's do it again. Oh my goodness. So happy right now. I know it, it's somewhere here. That gives me confidence. Lots of confidence, guys. Oh, 
Oh, I had a bite there. I had a bite there. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, this on, this on, this on. Did I get uh, Oh no. Oh shoot. Thought I caught in there. What the heck is this? Plastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, no good. No bueno. Plastic. Keep this and throw it away later. Put that in my pocket. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. That was. I'm so tired right now. I'm super, super tired. That was a straight four hours of plugging. Non stop. Well, we stopped for five minutes. That was a grind. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we caught one fish. If there's one thing that I wanted to relate to you on this video, it's first one, the first day that we were here, you can find where the holes are during those negative tide. And then you can come back on the high tide and go back to those holes that we marked on. It doesn't mean that when you go to a low tide, you're not gonna be able to catch a fish. It's just that it's hard to find a fishing spot, a water that is deep enough to have the fish go there. So I guess in this video, that's what I'm trying to share with you guys. And I hope that one helps you guys in catching striped bass. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. And if you like it, please hit that like button. And again, stay safe out there guys and be kind to one another. It's not just fishing more than this.